Rule number three. You will not cry or whine or laugh or giggle or sneeze or burp or fart. So no, no, no annoying sounds, right? Does this count as annoying? As you can see, <laughs> new in theaters, Despicable Me. It's an animated movie with some voices you're probably going to recognize. So the big question is, should you see it, rent it, or skip it? Helping us out with that answer, Kevin Carr, movie critic for FatGuysAtTheMovie.com. You're pretty good at that. I am good. All right, so <laughs> it looks really fun. Yeah. Is it something that adults will enjoy as well? Because it's a, for kids. Right? Yeah, it's totally a kids' movie because it's animated. Right. But it, it's also something that, that I think the adults are going to love. It's got Steve Carell. It's got Jason Segal. He plays a supervillain who's sort of getting usurped by another supervillain on the block. Mm -hmm. it, it's very high concept, actually. It's, right. it's it's He's got these orphans that he kind of tries to bring in on the scheme and then yeah. has to sort of find heart. It's got a lot of heart. And when he's trying to explain it, it seems kind of cheesy right but it really isn't it's it's clever it's cute it's got a lot of humor for all ages oh. and uh, you know the 3d effects you can check it out in 3d and it, it really puts you in the movie sort of like Toy Story where it just immerses you in it and it really works as a 3d movie and that brings me to my next question yes. if you had a choice Toy Story 3 or Despicable Me oh you know what that's a really tough choice if I if I had to choose of just which one I like better I'd say Toy Story 3 but it's it's almost a wash they're really? both really good okay uh, I was really surprised at this one. I was, you know, before the summer, I was thinking, this isn't going to be, be that good. And then I was like, wow, this is cute, clever at his heart. It's a, it's a wonderful little film. Awesome. Okay, so your verdict is see it, right? See it. All right. So next is something definitely for the adults and not the kids. Predators. It's starring Adrian Brody. Mm -hmm. um, he suited up kind of like Rambo, right? Well, well uh, Rambo was Schwartz, uh, wasn't Schwarzenegger. Schwarzenegger did the original. Just kidding. Uh, it's, this is, this is, this impo is important to me. Uh, this is the, the, the third Just technically, what they tell me. the third Third Predator movie, and it stars Adrian Brody and Lawrence Fishburne, and uh, Topher Grace is in it. And it's these guys are, are dropped on this world where they're being hunted by the predators. You know, it has some decent action moments, and it works on that level. Uh, but it sort of rehashes a lot of the stuff you saw in the first one, and there's no big surprises to it. So um, I, I I enjoyed it because I love the Predator movies. Yeah. But of all the ones they made, this was not my favorite. It does kind of come to this screeching halt in the middle. This planet is a game. He's an amazing actor, though. So what, did he do a good job in this one? Topher Grace, right? No, I'm kidding. You're talking about talking Adrian, Adrian Brody. Brody. He doesn't quite does do the action hero the way Arnold Schwarzenegger does. Well, right. Sorry. Um, so should we see this? They sent the dog. It's a rented. I mean, if you really yeah. like the Predator movies, right. rent it. Yeah, I'm not big she into the Predators. Quail. Really? No. I never. I surprise, you surprise. Is, I paid you as running around with a mask <laughs> at Halloween with the dreadlocks and everything. Right, yeah, no. Um, so Last is Cyrus starring John C. Riley, uh, Jonah Hill, Marissa Tomei. Kind of a quirky film, this one. Yeah, it's very odd and, and, and a very independent sort of bizarre movie about a guy who, who strikes, strikes up a relationship with a woman who has a 22-year-old son who then tries to torpedo the relationship. Oh. It's not as overtly funny as you would expect with that sort of setup. It's it's more that awkward humor. Yeah, and uncomfortable moments, if you will. Lots of uncomfortable moments. And as I understand, the directors just said, they kind of set up the scene and they said, just be uncomfortable in the scene. And it's improv around. It has some very funny moments. Um, you know, it, 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 like Steve Miller. it's more interesting to see where it goes and, and where it doesn't go. But okay. uh, it's very funny for the actors. All right, so what do you think? See it? Rent it? Skip it? This is a rented. This isn't one you got to go see in 3D or anything like All that. Right. So two rents, it's one see it. If you can, get out there and see Despicable Me. That's his favorite of the week. Thank you so much, Ken okay. Carr from FatGuysAtTheMovie.com. Joining us, we'll see you next week. All right. Over to you, Dana.